uh, what do you think should be the role of scientific and technological advice in today's democracies? I think scientific and technological advice is crucially important. I think we live in societies that are thoroughly built on science and technology and um, there is no way that we can govern our societies without understanding the science and technology. So we can't do without such advice, I would say. What opportunities and benefits can TA institutions offer to parliaments and society in general? I think TA institutions, technology assessment institutions, um, should offer, um, let me think, three important uh, functions to parliament. One is that they should provide um, facts, uh, but not only facts about science and technology, also facts about views, values, developments in society. There are lots of social scientists and humanities scientists that study those. So TA should give facts as the first function uh, to Parliament. Secondly, um, I think uh, TA should um, help Parliament to relate to technology. So r rather than bringing science and technology to Parliament, TA institutions can also help parliamentarians to get into contact with science and technology. Parliament should shape science and technology in order to shape our societies for the future. So that's the second, the second role, in a way, turning the, the arrow the other way. The third function of technology assessment is to, to find, to help Parliament uh, to find new relationships with citizens and stakeholders. Uh, the old form of democracy that only once in every four years we take a vote and, and leave it at that, I think doesn't work anymore. So technology assessment also should experiment with public debates, consensus conferences, uh, citizens' juries, etc. Um, how can citizen participation contribute to the debate of scientific and technological developments? I think in two important ways. One is that citizens' participation can contribute knowledge Patients know different things about drugs than doctors and pharmaceutical scientists know. So the first role is that citizen participation can actually create new knowledge of a specific, not particularly scientific kind, but important um, at the same time. And secondly, uh, citizen participation can help to create a better base for policy making. When citizens have participated, um, they will better understand why certain choices have been made um, and, and then policies will land uh, more safely uh, and more receptive um, in a country. And uh, a last question. Uh, very often, as you state in your book, the paradox of scientific authority. Scientific authority is questioned by policymakers, stakeholders and citizens. Why is this happening and how can it be addressed? I think it's happening when the scientists don't, in a way, make the mistake of not being completely transparent. Um, it, but there is a bit of a paradox. I think that on the one hand, um, scientists should be as transparent as possible about their own interests. Most scientists have some interests, and there's nothing wrong with that, as long as you are clear about it. So don't, don't try to hide your interest and then be caught, because that will undercut trust in science enormously. So on the one hand, be as transparent as possible about your, your interest as a scientist. On the second hand, I would say also think about the policy makers. They, they, I mean, they're not interested in reading sort of pure scientific journals. They are interested in reading the truth, but truth that, that works for them, that, that can play a role in parliament. So the second element I think that scientists in scientific advice should try to do is to formulate a truth that is serviceable, that can play a role in political debate. So not, not in a narrow-minded way, say, I'm the academic, I know what science is about. No, do listen to politicians. They have their own problems, they have, the, they have their own questions, and if we cater to that, that will benefit the interaction between science and politics. Perfect. Thank you very much. I think that was all.